Welcome back, everybody. Episode 43, I think. I don't know, I haven't said the episode in a while. But, uh, Minecraft.net has been down all day until now. Well, I've been working on the slime farm, and I have this looting three sword. Fixer came by, so I traded him my sword, which had a knockback two, fire aspect two, and some other thing. Smite four. And, but you know how often I use these things? Like, hardly ever. So I wanted to get a looting three so I can get more slime balls. And this farm is coming along pretty good. I got it up to three layers. And it's it's doing okay. You know, so far so good. Lots of slimes kicking around, which is nice. Now let's go upstairs because I got something else to show you. So many. I was just heading upstairs and Never mind. I guess it was just a glitch. I thought I saw a creeper in there. It, where is he? Anyway, upstairs we go. So, speaking of the slime balls, uh, I just got 39 in that little sit down, so I got two stacks and a bit, but you can never have enough of those, so I'll keep expanding. Um, I got this little note here from Slayer and Furquan. It says ice. So thank you very much guys. Uh, I don't have any ice due to my silk touch deficiency. Uh, I'll see if I can put that to good use. I don't know. Um, what else do I have for an update? Um, Super Dead Boss. That's what I'm going to call him. He was in the area. He got some wolves because apparently he lives in a jungle and he doesn't have any. And that's that. Now I have to work. I've been waiting all day to get on the server. Now I gotta do some work. Job number one is to create a better entrance into the slime farm. Uh, it's just a hole in the ground currently, so I figure we'll take this chunk here and build some stairs. You know, some fancier little bit of a walkway into it. And that will look way better than just a hole in the ground. And there's not a whole lot of a room. A whole lot of room. Uh, me fail English as usual. But I think there's a, a good enough ch shot here. Why can't I talk? There's a good enough area here to make a good wraparound staircase. That's what I think anyway. And it should look alright. Do that. Do this. And that works out perfectly. Just like that. Blammo. So that's pretty good. I like that. Now I can get rid of this and fill in this hole. I hear a slime hopping around which is good. This little thing here that's from the automatic or the swapper to go from a killing machine into a experience machine but we don't really use that because it's pointless. But I think I'll leave it in anyway. And now we'll just clear this out and that will be job number one completed. And I want to add a thing or two to this slime farm. It's going to be a little bit of a musical note. I've done something like this in the past in my old, old, old world, but we're gonna we're gonna bring it back. So let me just finish this up, do some redstone work, and I'll show it to you. Brickwan is here. Uh, he just was sneaking around. I'm like, what are you doing? So he decided to cover me in ice. Uh, the funny part was there was candles and it just kept melting. Now I'm stuck in here. All oh, good times. That is a weird noise. What is that noise? Ha <laughs> ha! That's one way to escape. <laughs> oh, that jerk. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Oh, now his other friends here. What are they sneaking around for? Goofballs. Oh, they're running. They're running. <laughs> Alright, back to work, I think. Alright, we've been working for a bit, and I broke another pickaxe. So I came down here to enchant a new one. And this we're going to dedicate to the subscribers. Thanks for joining us, guys. Let's see what you bring us. Good enough. I mean, I need that as a working tool. 
Now, as you may or may not realize, I hit 300 subscribers today, and I thank each and every one of you. And I'm going to enchant another pickaxe, and hopefully get Silk Touch. 300 subscribers equals Silk Touch. Sounds like a plan. But what I'm going to suggest, not suggest, what I'm going to ask is, what should I do for like a, a 300 subscriber special? You know, there's not much I can do really. I'm thinking about using that TNT machine that is currently trying to dig to bedrock, but I, I don't have a lot of TNT, so maybe I'll just I'll just run that through and say thanks to everybody. But if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment below, comments below, and I will see you when I get back to the base. No, not then. I'll see you when I'm at level 30, which will be in just a minute. Well, we almost died from starvation, and a good thing is I built that and I had to use it, so I made one piece of bread and ate that. So here we go. And we get... Silk Touch! For the first time ever! Thank you, 300 subscribers! I cannot believe it, and it's unbreaking, which is sweet! Now I'll just have to find a use for it. We'll just put that in there, and then we're on our way home. Icebox left a gift for me, and uh, he was telling me where it was, giving me little clues, because I'm like, I don't know where it is. And uh, he finally mentioned that, with clues, that it's in here. And I'm like, I don't see it anywhere. I looked all around, it's in this little tree here. So, uh, let's see what it is. It's just a cookie. It was alright. It was a good enough scavenger hunt. I enjoyed it. Now, I've been working on the... And that sign actually worked, which is cool. I'm working on the slime farm. It's almost done. I was going to put a few more touches into it. But I don't want to show you guys any progress until it's done. Because I, like I like to show the reveal. So, well, just so you know, you know, i got lots of redstone on me. So there's something to it. Alright, well, let me put some finishing touches on and then we'll show you. I might have gone a little bit overboard with the slime area. I put in these lights. And these lights will come on when there's a slime in the slime chunk. And uh, we'll just wait for that patiently. Alright, I put all my junk away and the lights are on. So let's go down there and we'll see how this all works. So, once we go down here, there are pressure plates in every corner. And so when a slime jumps on the pressure plate, it sends a signal up top. I don't know why it's so laggy all of a sudden. And I'm hoping that all this redstone doesn't make it laggy. Because uh, lag is never fun. So, anyway, that's that's how I did it. All these pressure plates all linked to the same spot. So there's just one because I wasn't, wasn't around for long enough. But I'll show you the wiring back here. So all the redstone, it all funnels into here. It's It's quite simple, really. It's just a pressure plate under there, and it comes out, and it's all linked together. It comes down from the lower levels all up to here, and it goes up top. And I was thinking about making a, like a note block pattern, but I figured because the slimes jump up and down a lot, it would just be annoying. So I'd rather just have it so that, yeah, it's, it's all blocked off this way. I'd rather just have it so that I could see by looking. Uh, I didn't have to put up with the sound all the time. But as you can see, there's now no more slimes. And during the whole process of building the thing, I acquired almost five stacks of slimes. Or slime balls. So that's great. We can build a lot of pistons with that. And that will bring us to our next project. Which I just thought of. And every time I say, I'll work on this next episode, I never get around to it. And I'm not going to work on that this episode either. There was something I want to do. Uh, let me think. Well, I built a stack of pistons, and I want to build a ice tray. Uh, the same sort of thing that Etho built. Because now that we have Silk Touch, I can actually get, you know, ice. So I want to build an ice tray. And I think I can build it here, because this is all snow biome. So I'm going to build it right into the side of this mountain and extend to here. And let me just 
clean this all up, start digging some holes, and you guys can see what it looks like if you haven't seen it neath those videos already. I figured I'd show you guys the planning behind my madness, you know, how I take a simple idea and make it way overly complex. Anyway, I dug out the square where I want the ice to be, and now what I'm doing is, um, like, terraforming, because this was a straight cliff, so I'm trying to make it a little bit more, you know, natural looking, I guess. So, that's what I do. Terraforming's hard, and, uh, I'm gonna replace all this dirt with... Replace all this... Why can't I talk some days? I'm gonna replace all this stone with dirt, and then we'll start pu putting in the mechanism. So I changed all the pistons into sticky pistons, and I got them all down here, uh, put in the dirt, and in the little square behind there, that's where the water will go. So these will be up, blocking out the water. Everything will look natural with the little ice rink here. And then I'll just hit a switch, which I'll hide somewhere, and that will repopulate the ice. Uh, let me put in the wiring, and I'll probably put a switch like here or something like that. It's now all wired up, and I figured I'd hide the switch under this block, so that when I'm not using it, the grass will grow back and everything will be fine. There's the little switch. Click it. And that's how it will sit, just like this, but this will be full of ice. And then, when you need to collect all the ice and reform it, put that down and the water will spill out. Let me fill this up with water and we'll give it a test. Alright, i got my silk touch pick in hand. I'm going to turn this on. See what happens. That's perfect. Hmm. I put a little hole in there so that when I broke it, I could drop down into that hole and then just spin around using silk touch, but uh, apparently that's not a good idea. Uh, maybe I'll wire that up eventually. Alright, so now we do that. We wait for this to freeze. While I was waiting for the ice to freeze, I decided to come back and grab a few things. Well, I checked on the slime farm and it's just, there's slimes everywhere. There was three giant slimes on the first floor, which I didn't record, because I'm like, eh, it's just a giant slime. But I just kept hearing more and more, so I figured I'd record some of this crazy action that's going on. The funny thing is, when I started this project, I had, like, five slime balls. And now, while building it, I've gained, like, five stacks. Oh my. Look at this. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'll never, <laughs> never run out of slime balls. But, that's good, because I use them a lot. Look how many there are. It's like, this is as, as much experience as the end grinder. Maybe not. Alright, I'll finish killing these guys, and I'm pretty sure the ice is frozen by now. So, thank you once again for the 300 subscribers. This first Silk Touch action is dedicated to you guys. Couldn't do it without you. And also, like I said, uh, leave some comments on any suggestions on what I should do for a 300 subscriber viewer special or whatnot. And we're going to end the episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will talk to you next time.